Right, so we've got an angles question here. And what you need to do is to look carefully at the shapes you've got and the angle facts that you know. So involved in this question, you've got angles that are all around here. So you've got angles around a point, which you know add up to 360 degrees. And then you've also, within that, got shapes here, which are four-sided shapes, so quadrilaterals. So therefore, we know that angles in a quadrilateral also add up to 360 degrees. So that's the sorts of bits of information you're going to be using. So think about that before you jump straight in. So if I know that these are all 25 degrees, and I know that the whole lot is equal to 360 degrees, and it says in the question here that they are identical rhombuses, I know that these four are going to be the same. So I've got four lots of my 25 degrees, and again, don't feel that you have to do it in your head, do do it on your calculator. So 25 times by four means that I've got 100 degrees from the ones that I'm given in the question. So if I then take that away from 360 degrees, that tells me what I've got left for the other four angles. So 360 degrees minus my 100 degrees means that I've got 260 degrees left. That's got to be shared between these four equally. So if I divide that by 4, that then tells me that each of those angles is 65 degrees. And make sure, as I said before, that you do write down everything that you do on your calculator. I would at this stage then label this onto the diagram. Because I can then start to build up a picture of what I know and what I still don't know. So, following on from that, looking at a rhombus and knowing about a rhombus's properties, we should know that these two angles are the same and these two angles are the same. So if I know that they all add up to 360 and that I've got these matching pairs of angles, I should be now at a point where I can work out what my missing angle is. So this one here is also 65 degrees. So the two of those together, 65 degrees plus another 65 degrees, means that I must have 130 degrees for those two angles. And so, again, if I then take that away from 360 degrees, it means that I must have 230 degrees left for the other two angles within my rhombus. We know that they're both the same, so therefore I just need to do 230 degrees divided by 2, and that then tells me that my angle A is 115 degrees. And that's what I would then write on my answer line.